Hi. <laughs> First of all, I really had a good day. Second of all, I wasn't here on YouTube for such a long time. Even though I was saying that I'm coming back, I did not do that. So I guess today's the day where I'm posting the video. And what is the video about? <laughs> so, uh, first of all, Simon, why it's a good day for you? Um, so I got, thank you for a year. It's not like unlimited amount of copies for a year, that would be crazy, but basically 40 months and in each month there are four coupons to use. So that's very nice. It's also a good day because I got my EUC today. I was really like, maybe not dreaming, but thinking about getting UC for about four years already or more and today is the day really like I was thinking about getting UC for that long all right so I had first of all Meepo v3 then I had Zealot, Backfire Zealot on both I did more than 2000 miles which is insane but yes that's true and also I had two scooters that are outside right now and the bike and also after all of that I decided to get one wheel to feel how it is to have one wheel and that thing is over here literally three times heavier than one wheel at least when holding really just to do this thumbnail it took me so long to like press the button on the camera here to focus and then take a picture holding this thing that i don't even want to retry it anymore but i will show you this thing and it's just gorgeous it's amazing also when it started to balance I was like, what's going on, really? I don't even want to express how I was feeling because it was just some feeling outside of this world. Anyways, it's that thing and it's extremely big and heavy. And the best part about it is the distance I can do on it. On the one wheel, I can right now do like six to nine kilometers. On this thing, I can do 60 to 90 kilometers. I'm just speechless, really. And one wheel literally looks like a toy, like my brother said, <laughs> comparing to that huge thing. And after riding all those skateboards, all those scooters, even a one wheel, now when I'm looking at EUC, I can't even imagine how I'm supposed to stand on this and start to ride. So it's gonna be probably fun, but now I'll show you what was in the box. And by the way, this is probably 2022nd model from what I saw also on the box, which the picture is here. And from my knowledge, a long time ago there was upgrade to that EUC 9 bot Z10, uh, where it's still the same device, but from what I know there was upgrade for the light that is a little bit more down and more bright, brighter. Yes, this EUC and ESC computer inside the the brain of this thing was upgraded, right. <laughs> and maybe something else, but I'm really not sure. I was trying to find this on the internet, but it's just impossible for some reason. So yeah, there's that. I really need to try. I have some gloves, I have helmet, whatever. I need to try it. Accessories, so there is this thing, okay, to mount. There's that fender uh, with the thing for the cars to see me a little bit better and for the rain basically which is crazy they providing this thing for free like one wheel if i want the fender let's say purple one it's 50 bucks maybe no more so very nice that they gave him this also this which i will for sure put on and that's it from the box also there's this charger okay it's from what i know proprietary how proprietary i'm not really sure i just know it will take very long time to charge and this 120 watts charger here are the specifications if you want to stop stop it but yes i already know it's gonna charge for a very long time this really really small brick like my backfire zealot had bigger brick than this huge wheel so i'm just hoping that the battery will break after longer time than let's say a year or whatever 
with this charger. Okay, that's it. Uh, I will try it out and tell you a little bit more about it. So I already learned the basics of how to ride this wheel, right? Okay, so I know how to go like this. It's not really a problem for me at this point. The view is also amazing. But there are issues with this wheel that I'm gonna talk right now about. Does the year even matter of when I'm trying the CUC if I never before tried one? Would anyone that's never ridden a skateboard complain about the bushings or bearings that they are too loose or not spinning fast enough if they don't even know how to stand on one? Those people don't know yet what they like, they're gonna try to push themselves and on that experience start to judge. With that mindset I can't say this wheel is bad because it has over 5 years. To judge it, I need to try it, see if uh, I like what it provides and compare to what I already know. I already watched so much videos about this wheel that my recommendations on YouTube are mainly about EUCs now. What did I got from those videos about the wheel Z10 from 9BUT? This wheel is acting totally different below 50 mph and above that. I can't really try to go above 50 mph because my wheel is already broken and I will go into it. <laughs> Why I can't go above that speed and really can't really try how this wheel is acting. But now let's go to another point. I really need to fight with it because it's trying to stay straight even when turning with insane train tracking. This is really big point, it's true. Okay, now into another point. It's very fun and great for low speeds. I can confirm that and footpaths are too low to the ground, which is also, also very true. I would love to give a shout out also to Matpack, Wrongway, Chang, and Speedy Feet UK. There are also many other YouTubers that were making those videos. I literally watched all of them, but those are the names that I have in my head right now. <laughs> so, specifications are on the screen. But for me, those are meaningless in many ways. It's totally different product that I ever used. The same motor or battery or ESC electronic speed controller will act totally different on a different type of device. I can't expect EUC to accelerate as fast as an electric skateboard with also 1800 watts of power and maintain the speed with battery sag below 50%. Or can I? This part will be also like a voiceover, mainly because I see so many YouTube channels doing exactly that. Writing EUC, talking at the same time, maybe just some video and talking, I'll do the same and we'll see how it would work. I have few points right now that will be about customization of software and hardware. In terms of software, there is no real customization. There is no tilt customization or calibration to make footpads higher on toes, only 3% tilt to super braking. There is RGB light customization and also limiter for the speed. We can basically choose on three different battery levels what is the maximum speed that we want to reach before there is tilt back. There is also setting up the password on the Z10 which we'll never ask to be activated before riding. Locking and unlocking through the app is not password based. Changing the speed from safe mode to sport, there are only two options. The rest of the options like tracking your route or checking basics like remaining range are not customizable but are a nice addition to the app. Hardware is great and can be as customizable as your imagination and abilities allow. But things we already have detachable fender and a pretty good trolley handle that can act as a stand for the Z10. Connected. Force touch handle that reacts to your hand to deactivate the motor. Bright lights for the front and to rear, huge tubeless airless tire 18 inches by 4,10. 
additional pads that help to grab the wheel with legs to make it also more comfortable, very strong construction with soft padding and robust body, pedals with rubber and separate grip tape, loudspeaker and IP54 probably water resistant. Now, what I think about the EUC as EUC and the 9 bot Z10 with my short experience. I'm personally all for EUC and will definitely buy a different one. From the beginning I had a faulty wheel with one battery not working. This made my first experience very mixed because at first I thought that everything should be like I was seeing it. I was very confused as to why I couldn't go as fast as their advertising, max 50 miles per hour instead of 28 miles per hour. Why acceleration is slower than in a basic one-wheel bind that is already much slower with acceleration than a skateboard. And why my range is at best very mediocre, not giving me even half of what I was promised. It all became clear after I installed the app that was showing me on every screen that first battery of two was not working. The worst happened when I was going slowly on the curb and the Z10 just for a second restarted turning off the light and the motor. When trying for a third time, I couldn't even make it to the half of this hill, which is not good. And now I'll go from here because I don't know if this is like private property, which probably it is. So <laughs> I'll just go somewhere else. Because of that, I almost fell down, but the motor catch up. I felt like doing a nose dive on one wheel or when the remote is disconnecting from the skateboard when riding and there is nothing you can do about it. I believe it shut down for a second because there was no second battery that could support the first one on a 10 degree slope. Speaker is an awesome addition but it's very much not clear and rally because of that the speaker is a little bit useless. There is so much attention needed to the right not only when turning. It's the first device I ever tried that is so close to flying just not up and down, but it breaks away when I need to focus on every single imperfection on the road because the wheel wants to adapt to everything like a chameleon to the color. If the street is a little bit curvy, you better believe that the Z10 will think this is the new level. Legs are starting to shake very quickly because of the pattern on the rubber, which causes vibrations. That can make you not feel your legs, especially on the cold weather. I never had a wheel with suspension, but now I know it might be necessary to really enjoy every trip. As my final thought, for now, I would definitely stay with the Z10 if both batteries would work. Regardless of when it was introduced, I'm sure it's amazing and special in many many ways if it works correctly. So, I would have greater range, better acceleration, possibly brighter front light and a faster wheel. Also with that, smaller chance of cutting the power when going on small curb. But I can't say that I'm recommending the Z10 hearing about many issues and having one myself. So that's it with the voiceover and big thanks to Ewill for letting me return the wheel. Not borrow the wheel like every other YouTuber on this planet would say, return the wheel. That was pretty easy process, I just show them screen of broken battery, right? It's here and they just sent me something so I could return the wheel with no problems, no shipping fee or anything like this, which is great. And this is exactly what I would expect from a reputable company, right? That everyone likes to be so easy to return something and really big two thumbs ups for that. <laughs> As I said previously on a voiceover, yes, I will buy another wheel. Probably that will be something with suspension after riding a little bit in New York City streets that are just so bad that I don't feel like having, let's say, V12 without suspension. It just, I don't know. Weird. It's unrideable for longer distances, not even longer, 10 kilometers and my legs are done. So I believe suspension will help me like tremendously. All right, and that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you get something from it and see you in another one. Bye bye.